Ask the Messengers. Here's a question. What made those who are struggling with cocaine addiction quit? How did they get to the place to where they want, they no longer wanted to do the drug? Well, quitting comes in several different forms and several different reasons. And so we've got some testimonies of those who are going to share uh, how they got to the place of quitting. For some, quitting came as a result of having no more money. Quitting came because family just left them alone and didn't want to be bothered with them. Quitting for some came because they lost their children or they lost their home or they lost their jobs. But for whatever reason, at some point, some place, they began the process of quitting and becoming free. Here's their testimonies right now. Knowing that I could find a different way to live um, in life, that I knew um, that if I could go get help, I can get better. After being locked up three times and getting out, I went straight back to the streets. I went straight back to using. This time was different uh, because I had um, I had a few people that care, actually cared about me. And those people, um, instead of being put right back on the street, I was put into this program. See, in, in, in the in three quarter house with the Reverend. And I found out that, um, that's when I found out that I needed help, um, helping myself. I couldn't do it on my own. So um, I think, I think that's what really saved me this time is not being put out to where I had to uh, figure out things on my own. I had people that actually understood that um, where I have been because they've been there. So they understood me and where I was coming from when I asked, when I told them that I really want to help myself and want to make it and want to be on my own, be productive and fit back into society. I didn't want to be alone. You know, I, I, um, I got tired of being alone. I didn't want to be by myself. So it's, it's like a little family that we have together. And um, we, we help each other. When, when we have problems, we talk, talk our problems out. And, and um, I think that was the difference this time. Uh, probably why I, I'll never pick up again. I quit because I, I'm, I'm going through a health issue right here. I'm going through kidney dialysis. It's infecting my body. And I also have an HIV candidate. I remember the most using drugs right before I um, came into a treatment center for help. Um, I was using this day and, um, you know, some came over me. And, um, just told me I got to change my life. I can't use um, no more. I remember leaving out of a basement floor, getting up, going to um, a friend, asking her, can she take me to go get some help? Um, my, my mind was so puzzled and I didn't know what to do. I just know I needed some help most of all. I came into treatment. Well, you know, by, by me being an older person, you know, and realizing that uh, I wasn't using drugs, they was using me. And then the fact that I was, you know, hurting and hurting people that I really loved and cared about, you know. Sometimes you just gotta be sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that's, you know, that's when I, you know, that's when this, this grabbed hold of me. And I just decided to live a better life. I, you need help. Um, I found out that um, I've been to treatments. Um, I've, uh, I've uh, I tried to do it alone. And uh, I've been to meetings. Uh, meetings work, meetings help, uh, but I needed to know that I was done. And um, I have been um, to prison, like I said, and um, I had my mother pass away, my father pass away, and I wasn't at ne uh, the funerals. That kind of hurt. That hurt real bad, and it still do. Um, the fact that um, I didn't watch my son grow up, um, the fact that I slept in vacant houses, the fact that I walked in the cold all night looking for another hit, the fact that 
the fact that all, all those things factor into one big ball and it hit me all at one time. Um, when my life became very unmanageable, I lost my job, my family, um, I had no one to go to um, due to me using crack cocaine. Um, I just, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to do no more. And I, I knew about being clean and being in recovery. 15,000 Americans die every year due to cocaine use and complications that result. Ask the Messengers, the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WMYD Detroit TV 20.